All right, so we're gonna make a box plot by gender based on this data set right here. I have the number of the participant, the gender of the participant, their height, their weight, their index, body mass index, and their race or ethnicity. And so for this data set, what we're gonna do is in SPSS, we're gonna transfer gender into their data set, into this empty data set, and add the height. So we're in data view, remember we have variable view and data view. And in order to put in the gender, we're going to have to hand enter, it's just 20 participants, so we're going to hand enter these. Later I'll show you how to upload data sets, but right now we're just going to do it by hand. So rather than type in male and female, or even M and F, we're going to, on the front end, decide what code, remember, because this is a categorical or nominal variable, it names, we're going to choose to put male as 1 and female as 2. So according to this data set, we have 1, 1, 2, 2, Okay, I think I did that right. Now we have to enter their height. All right, I'm gonna pause it and finish doing this. Okay, so now we have everything recorded. And remember, now I can actually expand this so we don't have to see the other data set. All right, so we are I have this one already labeled gender, didn't mean to do that, but it is. Um, okay, down at the bottom, we're in variable view and data view. So in variable view, that first item I named gender, the second item I'm going to name height. All right, just click in there, highlight it, and start typing. Remember, a uh, SPSS variable cannot start with a, a number or um, a space. So this... This gender says string because I had initially entered it as a num as a letter, so I need to go back and tell it numeric. All right, so we have numeric and numeric. They're both numeric. And now let's just look at our data again. Okay, so we have gender is one and two, and height is uh, written, and this is a continuous variable. This is a nominal variable or a categorical variable. But I guarantee you, in two days, three days, a week, a month, you are gonna forget whether or not one was male and two was female. So we go into values, and again, they have the little buttons on the right, and I'm gonna type in one, and then I can either click in this box or hit tab, is male. I can click here, and then I go back and I say two, I can hit tab, is female, hit tab, and then hit enter. And then I say OK. All right, now let's go back and look at our data. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed other than now the labels are showing. If I click up here where this 1 to A button is, it goes back and forth. All it's telling me is that the numbers are here, and I have now labeled them. OK? So now we want to create our box plot. We're going to go to Graph. We're going to go to Chart Builder. So I'm going to say don't show this again, but it's just telling us to make sure that if your uh, variables are mislabeled, so if it's a string and it really is a number, you're not gonna, it's not going to work. I'm going to say OK. And then this dialog box pops up. So what we're looking for is box plot. So down here on the left hand side, I'm going to say box plot. I'm going to grab this and drag it over. Okay. Gender. I want on the y on the sorry the x axis and height I want on the y axis. Okay, I'm gonna say OK. Expand it. And here I have simple box plot of height by gender. And it looks almost as though they are exactly the same. The median height of the females in this particular data set is pretty darn close to the males. All right, so how would I do this? I'm gonna highlight it, right click. I can copy it as an image. I can go into a blank document. 
and paste it there. And then at the bottom, type in the heights of the males and females are almost identical. And copy that, or save that as, and su submit it for your assignment. Really quickly before we stop, let me just minimize this. Minimize, or actually here. If I'm going to ask you to do it by race ethnicity, you're going to have to figure out how to label. We have white, we have Hispanic, we have black or African American, and it looks like we have one Asian. So we have what? One, two, three, four different categories, which means we're going to have four box plots. So the categorical variable goes along the horizontal line, the horizontal axis, and the continuous variable goes along the vertical axis. And so when you do your homework assignment, you're going to create a data set, you're going to put it in by weight, and then you're going to label your variable, your race ethnicity variable, one, two, three, or four, and then you're going to have to go in and do your variable labels and tell it one is equal to white, two is equal to black or African American, or however you choose to label it. And that's how you're going to do your assignment.